In this video, we will take a look at mobile workforce management as part of SAP Field Service Management. We'll start the video by showing how the technician has been notified that they've received incoming work. Now, the technician can be notified in many ways, such as a push notification or an email. Furthermore, they could also be notified by an SMS message. The application is also made available on iOS, Android, and Windows. Now let's start going into the maintenance and service execution. I start here in my mobile application where I can see all of the relevant details for the activity, such as the type of work to be performed, the related equipment, any remarks, attachments, tools, or materials to be used. When I'm ready, I can reject or accept. In this case, I'll accept. The mobile application also follows configurable workflows, which means based on what I enter, the next corresponding steps will be prompted. Notice how now I have the option to travel or work. Prior to starting to travel, I'll take a look at the installation manual so I know what I'm getting into before heading to site. Once I'm comfortable with the work, I'll click on travel to confirm that I'm indeed on my way. Now that I've arrived at the job, I'll select work and confirm that I've read the safety instructions. Also, I'll confirm my travel time for the distance I traveled to the job site. Now it's time to get to work. I see my work items and I'll use the materials that are needed to execute the job. Next, I'll execute an interactive smart form, which outlines all the work that needs to be done for the job. These forms are completely configurable and serve as a way to provide digital work instructions to the field. They could include a list of tasks as well as required to add photos, readings, timestamps, coordinates, or signatures. Upon completing the work, I'll add an additional expense that I incurred on the job for a meal. I'll mark this as chargeable and then proceed to close the activity. Upon closing, I'll record my final time on the job and a service report is then automatically generated. This includes all of the details of the work that I performed and comes back to SAP and FSM as a PDF report. I'll give it a final sign off, and now we can see that the activity is closed. 